local knowledge, hot tips from the field. Here at Desert Mountain, water management is so critical for us. And we started using these handheld devices that measure the moisture in the green, the temperature of the soil, and the salinity of the soil by this one held device called Pogo. And we actually, you stick it in the ground and it takes a reading and this reading goes to the cloud, which ends up being sent to my computer. So I can read immediately what's the moisture on the greens. Uh, Kyle here will walk around. We take about nine readings per on the greens and we collaborate to make sure that we're consistent. So part, one green may, part of the green may say 24%, one may say 26. If it gets down below 18, we'll actually put a hose on there to water some more. So we do all this to monitor the greens. So the individual greens are consistent on each spot on the green, and then we also make sure that every green on the property is the same. So you, when you play golf that day, they're all the same. As I come in the morning, like I talk about, I look at the moisture. Now we do three greens a day on a tracking system. So I look at this green number one and I'm at 22%. And I move over to another green that was two days ago was 19%. That roughly tells me I'm losing about two or 3% on my greens every day. And then a day ago, you can see it jumped to 28. That means I irrigated. So I can set my irrigation system and know that when I'm at 19 or 18 percent, I want to irrigate, and I want to irrigate long enough to get to 28 percent, which is roughly about 20 minutes for Desert Mountain. We found out for every two minutes of water on a green, I changed the percentage by one point. So now we target irrigate and go through that, and then we start the process over again. I have graphs that tell me of the trend that I'm at. One of the other ones is the firmness. You know, the pros, everybody talks like, what's the first thing you hear? Firm and fast, you know? Well, because when you change your moisture, you change your firmness. And those are one of the settings that we also do, again, by Bluetooth. And found out three days ago, our firmness, when we were at 19%, was at 0.29. Well, I found out the greens were healthy for the grass, but they were unhealthy for the membership. And what do I mean by that? Well they were too firm. The ball would hit, they would bounce, and they'd go over the green. So I want to have a ladies day. I'll soften the greens out by watering them a little more. If I have a club championship, I can firm them up. So I can go from tournament conditions to member conditions anytime I want by collecting all this information. Um, and since I'm at Desert Mountain, I have a bigger issues. I want to compare all 108 greens at one time. So I have a screen that sits out there and can compare every green to uh, the course. So here's the moisture comparison for that day on Apache all the way through. And I found out, hey, that's the day we watered Cochise. And then Outlaw got watered the same day. And I can compare it. So I can compare every green on an every day. I can do uh, height of cut. And so I manage it. So I don't have to go far to manage 188 people. It's sitting right here at the screen and I can make decisions to where to spend my time at. You know, one of the things I have to do is I have to manage the expectations of the agronomy with the finances of the club. And to do that, by having this all in one platform, I can, I can really do that. And that's my goal is to, why use more resources when I don't have to? And the best way to manage that is by tracking it, and, I, and that's kind of the, the goal that I've set up here. And i got to compare all the golf courses together. There's six of them here at Desert Mountain. So I, don't, I can't let one golf course do one thing and another golf course do another. So I really concentrate on keeping them consistent and they keep a, a financial stability to it.